Plus, statistics show one in every eight women will have breast cancer. Coming up, a look at the myths and facts between hormone supplements and cancer. These stories and much more as 10 Minutes of Nonstop News starts right now. Now, from the station proudly serving the Northwest Arkansas community, this is KNWA News at 10 in high definition. A recent study revealed there might be a connection between hormone supplements and cancer, but some very much disagree. Candy Boys' Marissa Stevens joins us live in the studio with tonight's Pink Courage Report. Marissa? Hey, Neely, a local doctor is trying to set the record straight when it comes to hormone supplements. Many myths stem from a study years back that used synthetic hormones, which the doctor says created unnecessary concern. The stats was one in eight women will get breast cancer. That's huge. You probably know someone who has breast cancer. Dr. Tammy Tucker is uncovering misconceptions between hormone supplements and cancer. So many times women who've had breast cancer will suffer with hot flashes, night sweats. They can't sleep. They're miserable. They're grumpy. We're kind of taught as women just suck it up and go on. But there are options and you can feel good and you can find that balance. There are hundreds of hormones in the body, and three types of estrogen, E1, E2, and E3, play a major role. Any woman who has a risk of breast cancer should know what her estrone levels are and should try to minimize those as much as possible. Supplements can help suppress the bad hormones and maximize the good ones. When we check those levels and we see what's deficient, we can individualize therapy and we can fill in those gaps. And Tucker believes knowing your numbers is vital. If you have too much estrogen, yes, you're at risk. So if you don't have enough progesterone to balance out that scale, you are at more risk. Men think that um, testosterone causes prostate cancer. That's just bad science. Low testosterone actually causes prostate cancer. It's those imbalances that increase your risk for oxidative stress on the body and cancer and all the things that come with that. Some doctors say patients with cancer or those at risk can't be on hormones. But Dr. Tucker disagrees and feels the facts are purely scientific. Scientific. This is plain out physiology, and it is physiology that doctors have ignored for years. And more than just having options about therapy supplementation, knowing what your levels are can really save your life. Dr. Tucker has invested a lot of time in studying this field because she has a personal connection. She gained around 80 pounds after having a hysterectomy and realized her hormones were out of balance. She's actually hosting a free event tomorrow night in Bentonville speaking on this exact topic. So for those who are interested, all those details are on nwahomepage.com. I'm Marissa Stevens for KNWA Northwest Arkansas News. Neely? Marissa, she certainly had all of us talking in the newsroom yes, earlier definitely. tonight. All right, thank you.